Hey there everyone, welcome to Solstice Classes, I'm Radhima and now we are going to solve the DI uh, and uh, logical reasoning part of the CAT 2023 exam, okay? So the first question is in front of you. So here as you can see, uh, we are given a question that is, uh, faculty members in management school can belong to uh, four departments, okay, finance, accounting, FA, uh, marketing strategy, operations and quant, and behavior and human resources. Now, um, so the number of faculty members in F and A, M and S, O and Q and B and S departments are 9753, okay? Um, what we are going to do here is basically what are given. So what are the information given? We have numbers of faculty members, okay? What are the departments? Uh, FA, MS, B, O, Q and B, H. And in each, the faculty members are 9753. Okay, this is one of the information. Now, we are given the names of professors. So, let us denote it with their initials. Okay, so this is Professor P, Q, R, S. So, there are four professors, that is four members of the school's faculty who were candidates for the post of the dean of the school. Okay, so only one of the candidates was from OQ. Every faculty member, including the four candidates, voted for the post. So, in each department, all the faculty members who were not candidates voted for the same candidate. The rules for the elections are listed below. So, there cannot be more than more, uh, two candidates from a single department. Sorry. Right. So, there cannot be more than two candidates from a single department. Okay. A candidate cannot vote for himself and faculty members cannot vote for a candidate from their own department. So these are the rules. Now, there is a story given that after the election, it was observed that Professor P received 3 votes, Q received 14 votes, R received 6 votes and Samuelson received 1 vote. Okay, so now um, let us uh, make a table. Okay, I am making a rough table um, so that it will be easy for us to understand. So, here I am naming the members uh, for election that is P, Q, R, S. In brackets, let me write down the number of votes they have got and the votes are 3, then 14, then 6 and 1, right? Now, uh, with respect to this here, we have, so here I am going to write down the votes uh, by candidates. and votes by members who are not the candidates, okay? So, uh, after reading here, it is, uh, we can uh, see that, see, uh, Professor uh, P voted for Professor R, okay? So, that means P voted for R. Sorry, P voted for R, right? We are talking about candidates. So, P voted for R. So, that means here we have P, not this one. So, this is the candidate who voted for R. So, we are writing P. So, P voted for R. Then, uh, R voted for, uh, sorry, Q voted for S, right? So, Q voted for, where is this? So, this is Q. Then, uh, we have R voted for Q. So, here we have R and last one is S. So, Candidates voted for uh, PQRS respectively. And what about the members? So, uh, members, obviously, uh, it is given. So, out of 3, 1 vote is given. So, we are left with 2. Out of 14, 1 vote is given. So, again, 13. Out of 6, 1 vote is given. So, we have 5. And again, here, 0 votes. Correct? So, total votes are like 1 plus 2, 3. 1 plus 13 is 14. 1 plus 5 is 6 and 1 plus 0 is 1. Yeah. So, this is how we have just divided the votes from candidates and members. Okay. Now, how many departments are there? Now, there are four departments. Okay. Um, so, let me write out the four departments here. That is FA department, um, MS department, OQ department and BH department. And uh, the total votes uh, they have got, sorry, the number of members there are 9, 7, 5, 3, okay? 
now um so what is the rule here there cannot be more than two candidates from a single department a cannot a candidate cannot vote for himself or herself and faculty members cannot vote for a candidate from their own department so there are so many um rules out here so we have to understand how many uh, candidates and members actually got their vote from here so from bh department so there are three now three can be given so here two votes are there so total number of three so you can say that members of bh so two given votes okay then um, after that uh, we have fa where there are 14 so nine votes must have come from here because yeah so if i write down fa9 here so there, i need more votes here right that is how many four more so from where the possibility of getting four votes are from MS and OQ, okay? Now, uh, there is a thing here that every faculty member, including the four candidates, voted the polls. In each department, all faculty members who were not candidates voted for the same candidate. The rules are here, right? So, now from according to this, only one of the candidate was from OQ. So, one of the candidates was from OQ. That means I cannot... Um, uh, so, only one of the candidate was from OQ. Where? For the post of this. So, that means if I write down... So, x one candidate here. So, definitely four members here. So, from here I can write down that from OQ uh, here. So, from OQ the remaining four votes were given. This one was given here. So, three, uh, nine plus four becomes um, 14, right? So, what about five? So, the re remaining five was given from here, the member um, MS department five. Okay? And none here. So this is how. So that means candidates. So if that means candidates from uh, uh, BS department here was given one vote here. One plus three four. One plus two. Um, this becomes two. So likewise we have divided. Okay. So now can what can you say? That means here we are still left with one one vote, right? Because only out BH two I have uh, we have here. So one vote is left and. Uh, here OQ out of 5, 4 votes are used here. So again one more vote is this. Now this vote can go to R or S. Okay. So we don't know about that. So um, let us see what are the questions given. We have got our table and we have almost got the departments who voted for the candidates. Right. Including the members and candidates so number one is which two candidates can belong to the same department okay so p and q definitely p and q can uh, belong to the same department so i just deleted it i will just write it down again so we have fa ms oq and bh so here i said that there are one and one remaining out after going uh you know four votes from here to Q and uh, out of three votes, two went to P. So that means R and S. So either R or S. That is where these votes must have gone, right? So two candidates can belong to the same department, right? So that is definitely P and Q. So A is the correct answer. Next one is which of the following can be the number of votes that Professor Qureshi received from a single department? So Professor Qureshi, that is Q, got vote from two departments, FA and OQ. So it is either 9 or 4. So in the option we can see that we have got 9. So 9 is the correct answer. Next one is, um, yeah, so the question is, Professor, if Professor Samuelson belongs to B and H, um, which of the following statement is or are true, okay? So, Professor Samuelson belongs to B and H, okay, let us check once. So, S. Okay. 
so we have one candidate vote q here so it said that if s belongs to b and s which of the following statements are true because we know that uh, there is a possibility r or s that b and s belongs to r or s or to q right so there is a confusion because one one uh, votes are remaining members votes are remaining so it is said that assuming that that belongs uh, to professor uh, you know samuelson from which of the following is true statement a professor uh, pakrasi belongs to ms Correct. We already have got it that P uh, belongs to MS. So T is true. Professor R belongs to OQ and uh, R belongs to OQ. See that we have written R belongs to OQ and uh, P belongs to BH and R belongs to here RS. So that means both the statements are true. So this is true, this is true, so both statement A and B are true, okay. Next, uh, fourth question. What best can be concluded about the candidate from O and Q? Uh, o and Q, okay, let's see, O, Q. The votes for O, Q goes to only R and nowhere else, right? It was either R or S, that's what we said. Right, there are one one vote each which must have gone to R or S. So that is definitely A. And uh, next one is again true and false. So which of the following statement is or are true or false? So here a non-candidates from MS voted for Professor Qureshi. Non-candidates voted for Qureshi. Is it? No. So this is false. And uh, non-candidates from FA voted for Qureshi. Let's check that. Yes, he, all right. Nine, nine went to vote because two. So out of uh, nine here, so candidates is vote one. So here seven. So seven plus two. So that means yes. So second statement is true. So that means um, which of the following is correct? The neither statement here will be this is wrong. Both statement will be wrong. Only which of the is true? So only statement B is true. So this is the correct answer.